Hello everyone, this is Hafiz and today in this short video we are going to see how we can implement a lightbox effect on our images using a jQuery. You can see there are some thumbnails on this web page. If I click on this image, you will see a lightbox effect will pop up with a larger view of this image. Similarly, if you have multiple image, you can show as a gallery as well. If you click on this one, then you will see there is one uh, icon for the next. If you click on this one, and you will see the next image and then click on this one and you can see another image and there is cross button you can close this one also so let's implement this one so let's go to first google and download a jquery first click on this one go to download section then click on this link and click on save as and here i want to tell you that i have already configured xam server on this machine so i'll go on desktop and there is stdocs shortcut on my desktop i'll go there and there is one folder called landing inside the root folder of this web server so i'll create one folder here with the name of lightbox okay inside this lightbox I'll create another folder called JS and I'll save this jQuery uh, JavaScript file inside this JS folder. So I'll click on save and then now I'll go back to Google and search for jQuery Lightbox. You'll see this first link. I'll click on this one. And I'll click on download this plugin. I'll click on download. Oh, sorry, it is the author of this uh, script. Okay, I'll click on download button and it will give me one zip file. I'll click OK to save this file first. And this file is saved inside my downloads. I'll double click on this one and expand this unzipped folder. And here I'll open my htdocs folder and I'll copy the files which I need from this downloaded uh, package. So I'll go to Lightbox again. We need some CSS and some JavaScript files from here and some image files as well. So what we'll do, we'll create some required folders first. We'll create one CSS folder and then I will create one folder called images where we'll keep all our images. So inside the CSS, I'll copy from here this. If I go to source, so there is one CSS folder inside the source. So I'll drag this file inside my CSS folder here, and then I'll go to JS folder here in my htdocs. And from this source, I will again copy this lightbox.js inside my JS directory. Oops. So it should be here inside the JS. So as you can see now here in the CSS I copied lightbox.css and in the JS folder I copied lightbox.js file. Now we need some images so we'll expand this one and these four images we need. So we'll go to images first and select all these four images and copy all these images here. So that's it from this package we need only these files now we'll go and set up our web page so i'll open one of my code editor and then i'll create one new file and first i'll save this file in the same directory which is lightbox if i show you all the parts inside the stdocs learning and then lightbox so here inside the lightbox i'll save this file and keep the name index.html okay save this file and now let's create basic html structure first here i'll say lightbox Now I will link my CSS file first. That file is inside the CSS folder. 
and there is file called lightbox.css if you want to see which file are you attached here you can see inside the css there is one file called lightbox.css same file i attached here using the link tag so let's go and add now js files First, I will add jQuery and then I will go for lightbox.js. Okay. Here we'll open one script tag and give the source. Inside the JSS, we have one file jQuery dash 3.3.1.min.js. I hope the name is correct. And another file we'll add source inside the js folder again we'll see we'll check again what was the name of this file the name of this file is lightbox.js the file which we added earlier it is jquery dash 3.3.1.min.js i think it's correct okay let's add now lightbox .js. that's all here we need all these files now we'll go to body section here and create one link for the image okay before we create the link for image uh, let's copy some sample images i have already copied some images so i will copy these all images okay i already copied this so if i will leave this one and copy this one folder called animals and one is image dash one dot jpg so I'll copy these two items and go to my lightbox directory then images directory. Remember this is my source of my web server. Okay. Here I have folder called lightbox and inside lightbox I have car folder images and here I will paste these two items the one I have I copied. So I will show you two ways. One if you want to apply on the on an individual image or if you want to create a gallery of multiple images and you want to show them inside the light box effect okay let's first create for an individual image which is image dash one dot jpg so we we'll go back to our body section here and then create a link tag and give that image path which is inside the images image dash one dot jpg okay and here we have to add one attribute which is data dash lightbox this attribute will activate lightbox effect on any image you want so we'll say uh, remember this name should be unique if you want to apply lightbox effect on individual images so i keep this name picture and here I can make it say let's apply this link on a text first image a picture. Okay, I'll save this file now and let's see the effect inside our browser. We'll go to the browser now and I'll open new tab and say localhost slash learning slash lightbox slash index start html if you enter you can see there is one link showing picture if i click on this one there we go you can see i applied this effect on this link now now let's see if you want a small thumbnail of this picture instead of this instead of this text okay let's go back to our text editor now And remove this picture text because we want to add here a thumbnail of this image. So I will add image tag, and we know this image is inside the images directory, and the image name is image dash one dot jpg. And here I'll give the width. It should show a small thumbnail size icon. So I save this one now. Go back to the browser and refresh. There we go. Now you can see this image is showing as a thumbnail. If I click on this one again, there is similar light box effect on this image. Okay, I'll close this one on now. We'll go and create a gallery of images. 
if I can show you here in my source directory, I have a folder called images and inside that images there is one folder called animals. So here I have three images inside this animal folder. So I will show these three images as a gallery in the light box effect. Okay, let's go back now and we will just copy this link and I will create some VR tag here. Make a space between two, these two images. Okay, I'll paste this again. And we have three images now, and we want to show them as a gallery. Okay, so first of all, let's give the source of this image. Okay. Now, these images are inside the images directory, and there is one folder called animals. So, I will simply change the paths. And say animals slash image one and then image two then image three i think it's correct now now we will again copy this this here and copy this one and then change this one also so this one is image one image two and image three now here at this point, now we are going to create these three images as a gallery and these three images should belong to one name and that name I will keep here, animals. Now if you can see this name is similar for all of these three images. So if I click on this one of this image, it will show me as a gallery of rest of the images belong to this name. Okay. Let's go to browser now and check. We touch the view. You can see these three images are appeared here. If we click on this first image, and you can see I have an option to browse the next image. If I click on this one, it will show me another image. If I click again, it will show the third image. So that's all. I hope you like this video and it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching this and please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks.